Okay guys, to begin off the eyes, we're going to first prime the lid. So I'm going to take my Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's a nice white cream eye base to create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows to really stick out and pop. And to just neutralize the base. For our first eyeshadow today, I'm going to grab this soft orange shade on a fluffy 227 crease brush from Zoeva and just start blending that through the crease and out of the area, making sure to really blow it out up towards the brow because we are creating an elongated eye look. Next I'm taking a deeper orange shade and I'm placing this through the crease and outer corner with a precise shader brush from Zoeva as well. I'm first of all packing it on the outer V area and then buffing whatever's left all the way to the inner corner. Then I'm going to grab that initial blending brush we used before with the soft orange shade and just soften any edges. Next taking this really deep uh, like whiny red shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on a pencil brush. I'm kind of mapping out the eye. So I'm sharpening out the outer corner, bringing it up towards the tail of the brow and also bringing it all the way towards the inner corner. Then I'm going back in with that deep orange shade, I'm buffing out the edges and then again going back in with that light orange shade to buff them out further. I like to always go back and forth between previous shades to get that perfect soft blended look. To cut the crease I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on an eye concealer brush and I'm just basically carving out the crease and also bringing it out towards the outer corner of the eye Again, creating that um, pointed outer corner look, just like we did with the red eyeshadow. Once you've done that, I'm going back in with a precise shader brush and some of that red shade and just kind of crispening, um, just defining those edges a bit further um, to create a nice crisp line so the eye looks very defined. Then I go back in with some of those previous shades to soften any edges. Next to colour in the lid, I'm going to take Pegasus from Makeup Geek on a precise shader brush again. This is from Zoeva. And I'm basically just carving out or placing that on the first third of the eyelid. This is my favourite shade with the whole look. It's just so vibrant and so stunning. Then I'm taking this matte yellow shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette and packing that on right next to the blue. This is going to help transition into the gold shade that we're going in with next. So I initially apply that on with my finger and then to really define up that line up where the cut crease is, I go in with that precise shader brush to do that. I just felt having that yellow colour down initially, like I said, helped the transition of those shades. And then I go back and forth between Pegasus and the gold to get that perfect blend between the two. Then I'm taking that deep orange shade that we used before in the crease and I'm packing that down right next to the gold. This is also going to act as a nice transition for the deeper red shade that we're going in with next. So I'm packing that on right up where the gold is but not taking it out to the outer corner because we are going to take this beautiful foiled eyeshadow that is basically run out. I, must, I broke the pan a while back and I lost a lot of the pigment unfortunately but there's still enough to create this look. So this is Curtain Call from Makeup Geek. It's a gorgeous red whiny foiled eyeshadow and I'm packing this on the very outer point of the eye and blending that into the orange. Next I'm taking this beautiful deep red that we used before and I'm placing that up against the outer point of Curtain Call and again bringing that colour back through the crease to redefine it up a little bit in case some of it got blended away or anything like that. Next to start the glitter liner kind of cut crease look, I'm going in with this beautiful photo ready eye art glitter liner from Revlon in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm placing that up along the cut crease line that we've created. And I'm basically tracing out, like I said, the whole outer edge of that cut crease all the way to the outer point of the eye. I love how it looks just with um, the Topaz Twinkle Glitter Liner. However, I did want to make it pop a little bit more and I'm so glad I did. This glitter from Etsy, it's the Mermaid Glitter. I'll leave it linked down below um, from Sparkle Pig. It is so, so stunning and it really complements all the colors that we've used. It has bits of blue in there, gold. It's just so stunning. And I basically go in initially with some eyelash glue and pack that on the glitter liner first. And then I take some of that glitter on this like angled brow brush and just pack it over top. And it is a bit of a tedious job, but it's so worthwhile. I love how it turned out. It's so, so pretty. 
oh i'm obsessed it's so nice it reminds me of like an arabic eye look even egyptian almost i love this for like a cleopatra kind of look <laughs> next to um fill in our waterline i'm taking this nude eye curl from models prefer and i'm just placing this along my whole bottom waterline to really open up the eyes then to define that lower lash line i'm taking that deep burgundy red shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on a precise shader brush and I'm tightly wiggling that eyeshadow right up against the bottom lash line all the way from outer corner to inner corner but I want it to be most pigmented on the outer corner and then it just tapers in towards the inner corner to blend it out I'm taking that deeper orange shade on a pencil brush and just like I said just softening any harsh lines and edges so just to smoke it out a little bit more then to further blend out this eye look and make it super smoky, I'm going in with this light orange shade that we used at the beginning as our transition shade and just softening the orange out a little bit more. Finally, I add lashes. These are the fluffy lashes from Attitude. They are so, so beautiful with this look. I love how dramatic they are and they just add so much like fullness and drama to the look. They're so pretty. For my inner corner highlight, I take this gold shade from the Chi Chi palette that we used before on our eyelids and I'm packing that on my inner corner. Then I'm placing on some bottom lash mascara and I almost forgot my brow bone highlight. So I went in with the enlightened shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and placed that on the highest point of my brow bone. And that guys is the finished eye look. I'm so happy with how it turned out and it, it's just so colourful and fun and bright. I love it for like a summer, like Egyptian look, like it's just so fun. For lips today, I decided to show you guys what I used. So I first of all went in with the Espresso Eye Cold from Makeup Geek. I love it as a lip liner, it's so creamy and pigmented. And I lined my lips and also filled in the outer corners to create kind of ombre look. Then I went in with the Kylie Cosmetics Commando Liquid Lipstick. And for lip gloss today, I went in with the gorgeous lip gloss from Napoleon Purtis in the shade Nude. I just love the formula. It really creates such a wet, glossy look to your lips. It makes them look so full and voluptuous. And that, guys, concludes today's makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed. If you would like me to do a full face, let me know. I have only been doing eye looks lately, but if you do want me to do a full face, I can do that for you. Otherwise, have an awesome day. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Have a great week, guys. I love you all very much. Bye.